Hello friends, this is a follow-up video to that review I did of Action 52 Owns a while ago. This video is going to show you how to get all the collectible trophies for Bubblegum Rosie or Bubble Girl Rosie or whatever from the Action 52 Owns compilation. Now without further ado, let's go get that 100% completion. This video is sponsored by the Dollar Sh- The first trophy you'll find is located in a pit after the screen telling you how to double jump. Now normally jumping into pit will kill you instantly, but since this game does everything it can to not suck, it just leads to this secret area. Just make sure you take out the earth chants that are hunking blocks at you, and there it is! No wait, that, there it is! Great, now people are gonna realize it's post commentary. Anyways, that's the first of many trophies. This is also the easier route through level 1, so you can... The next trophy you'll find is found as you progress naturally through level 2. It's on a small platform surrounded by red instant death water. Just take out the enemies to make things easier, and don't worry, unlike the NES Action 52, the jumping's actually good, so this won't be too challenging. This next trophy is also simple to attain. Yeah, the trophies themselves have no descriptions in-game, so I'm just gonna assume they're of, like, the developers and their friends. Beginning of level 3, simply take the upper route, and the trophy's right there. This next trophy I like to call the Katori Bird because it reminds you of that one broad from Love Live. This is one of the trickier trophies to get because of the instant death spikes and the fact that this game has proper hit detection. Yeah, you can go down here to kill off this dickweed, so... Uh, just do that, and with skillful use of the double jumps... Now, now, that didn't happen. Try not to die in a level, because otherwise you have to collect these trophies again. This is probably the reason why you clicked this video. Beginning of level 4, there are these four enemies in the corner of the top platform here. Kill them as you will, and then go into the secret alcove that's hidden in the wall. See, that playing means you got a trophy. I swear I must have played this game at least five fucking times trying to find this thing until I got this completely by accident. So there you go. This next trophy is also easy to miss. Just before the exit of the stage, you'll see the trophy submerged in lava. Don't jump directly into lava. Just go onto the platform next to it and just nudge your way into the trophy. The next trophy is at the beginning of the stage. I think this is of the developer's girlfriend, which is why she's in the water. <laughs> so anyways, let's rescue this broad. Don't worry, the water won't kill you, but this purple ball might be tricky to deal with, so look sharp now. Hey, I actually did without taking damage! Yay! Hey, look, a recording window. And finally, the last trophy is located right in front of the boss room right there in front of you. Uh, simply defeat the final boss of this game, which I kinda forgot to record, and that 100% completion should be yours, provided you didn't die in a level and forget a trophy. And here's a list of all the people from an alternate timeline where Action 52 doesn't suck. Hell, this game's even perfectly optimized at 60 frames per second, which, of course, takes high priority over my recording software. Anyways, that's the end of this simple walkthrough video thing, or whatever. Anyways, thanks for watching. Off I go to do real life things, so I'll see you all in a month or maybe seven. I will see you all later. Why do people want me to get a Patreon account now? I don't want to do that just yet. Is that like a fucking requirement for YouTubers now? Christ almighty. No, I don't want to do the Patreon thing yet. Go away! Ah!